Hello, pile one, and welcome to your reading. So you're about to have a really successful month, and what you're going to notice is the more you're grateful for these small victories, the faster you're going to see the larger victories come, because you are going to be recognized by other people for the work you have been putting in. You're going to be seeing that you're making positive progress um, in whatever direction it is that you've been wanting to go, and a lot of this is going to be credited to your creativity, your passion. It's really interesting because like, this is just an example, but say you're applying for jobs, you're gonna be the one to get the job because like, you're the most likable, okay? You have the likable, charismatic um, factor going for you. This also speaks about a lot of charm and I am seeing you're really, really attractive this month to other people in a very interesting way. It's kind of, um, like it's interesting because it's like say if you are a female um who's interested in men like men would be interested in you um because you're exuding this masculine energy which can sound a bit contradictory but by that i mean you're like someone who's very much exuding like boss energy someone who's not afraid to speak their mind confident you kind of um, command respect and I think it's balanced by your introverted side or you being very selective okay like people are going to be really interested in you because they see you've got a lot going on for you but you are not someone who you don't necessarily feel like you need other people this month in fact in the past you could have felt like other people projected onto you sometimes people project their issues onto you i feel you're going to be very sensitive to other people's energies or you just are a naturally very intuitive person because it feels like um you never want to let someone bring you down again now you guys have healed from a lot of heartbreak and for a lot of you i'm feeling this heartbreak was not like recent it was a while ago and you have come really really far okay however with know your worth this is still something you are learning and and growing from but like you are someone who's really really wise someone who holds um a lot of knowledge from your past which now you are using for your benefit you are now using to discover and learn and grow even more what i'm seeing with the knight of wands is um you can get very excited you still are not the king of wands and that doesn't mean you're not going to be the king of wands you could be literally the king of wands a month after all this means is that you simply um need to see your vision the whole way through because you're going to see successes and wins and all i'm hearing is just don't let yourself be distracted or don't let um you know the things that have been a source of self-worth issues, insecurities, as we all have, don't let those win. You are creating a whole new story. Like there's a, you are jumping into a really, a beautiful new timeline. So I'm hearing spirit wants you to maximize this really positive direction you're going in because you really, really are going towards a more positive direction. Um, I'm also seeing the universe wants you to have a very like playful vibe when it comes to relationships, when it comes to anything you want to do, treat it like you're a child or treat it like you're seeing things um, from like a beginner lens, from a whole new lens. So if you're in a relationship and you've been having issues, it's kind of like putting it in the past. See how having a lighthearted approach changes your situation. Um, you know, or if you're, you've not been putting yourself out there romantically, because with the hermit, again, you can be reclusive sometimes, nothing wrong with that, I see you're very much in your spiritual journey, but like, not being afraid to have fun and be playful, you're gonna see how much that makes your energy grow, and how much that connection is further fueling your creativity, your fire, and your success even. I trust my ability to make a strategic decision. Again, you guys exude boss energy. You don't almost, 
even though this is only pile one i feel like this might be one of the piles who needs the least amount of advice i feel like you're very very knowledgeable um you can see to the truth of things you are the type of person who like i would want to go to advice for like i feel like um you understand um how to handle your situation better than you might even give yourself credit for so what's going on for pile one i am seeing taurus leo and pisces placements also virgo strong um leo someone will try to make you do something against your will this is why knowing your worth is very important i'm also hearing don't always be the person who takes on you know the biggest load like who who's doing the most of the work um psychic ability trust your intuition trust that you know what you're doing and trust in the things you have chosen you've wanted you want someone working against you behind your back okay you do have sun in the 12th house you guys have a lot of hidden enemies and people who may not wish you the the best and this is interesting because it's so weird because spirit is saying think the best even of these people like give them the benefit of the doubt mentally so you're not taking on and making yourself angry does that make sense it's almost like so you can separate their energy from your energy i'm not saying you have to like trust them necessarily um allow people to prove themselves to you but if there's someone if your intuition is telling you someone you're feeling off about someone's energy you're right if your intuition is telling you someone in your life could be worthy it's probably right listen uh listen to your gut in these situations so let's move into love okay in terms of love i see someone is hiding something there's some sort of secrecy um and i would just be very aware um again if you're seeing any sort of red flags in a situation in a situation in love just be very aware do not put your eggs in one basket okay that's a huge message don't put your eggs all in one basket what's going on i feel like a lot of you guys have certain obligations that aren't particularly your most favorite like most favorable things in your life maybe <gasps> it's time to take back control in your life a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so i am seeing a new person coming into um into your life or potential new people who want to come in who are like almost basically lined up for you and it's going to be up to you to kind of free yourself from any toxic or like unhealthy situations if that makes sense and it is time to take back your power you are on the rise you need to realize this you are on the rise your energy is very very magnetic and you deserve this you don't have to self-sabotage just because certain situations or pains are holding you like hostage do not make yourself smaller or dim your light because of that also free yourself from any situation you don't want to be in be empowered in how you talk to people um assume that people view you in a confident manner and see like how that changes how you walk into a space how you feel sometimes we have assumptions about how people feel about us that aren't true right but when you know your worth you can suddenly see things more clearly you start to realize um you're not afraid to kind of be yourself and, and take charge and i see you have really strong leadership quality and that n doesn't need to be dimmed if that makes sense okay um let's do one more card for pile one pile one i'm hearing there was financial issues in the past or that some of you are still maybe even overcoming but again these successes are validating to you that you're making <gasps> success really successful month guys these successes and wins are validating to you that you're 
going in the right direction that was your reading pile one um link to my website will be down below if you want to book a personal reading thank you for watching hello pile two so this pile is very much a love reading there's other stuff involved if you're not interested or you're not really that's not resonating this might not be your pile what i'm seeing is there is someone who feels really compatible like wants to have open communication with you feels like you two are like this tag team and it just makes sense and there's kind of this romantic blossoming energy however it feels like um on a soul level for either of you the reason why this connection may not always be the most straightforward i am getting two messages those of you in a relationship and those of you not but again for the, uh, the ones of you not it's because finances and career are what's really affecting one if not both of you i'm hearing for a lot of you guys it's you where it's i'm seeing you you want to play you're in a very again you might even actually be dating someone or really getting to know someone getting close to someone in spirit is just reminding you um that at some point it may kind of hit you that maybe old insecurities come up with healing chaos or just stuff is coming up where you're realizing you the spirit is wanting you to be independent and to me it says claim your independence that is meaning that you don't just lose yourself in love this month okay it's beautiful this thing this relationship or connection that is really really transforming however with with justice card coming up as well it needs balance um when there's not an equal give and take of you know how much you give to yourself and like overdoing how much you're giving to the person to this person it just um i don't know it i'm almost hearing for some of you you might not notice the effects now in april but you will notice it over over time okay but you have been doing a lot of soul searching to get to this point to get to this point of even being vulnerable or being open to the prospect of this happening um and a lot of you i'm seeing you're going to be in in contact with this person you are in contact um with this person and for others of you it feels like someone here really really cares for you but there's blockages okay blockages that have to do with again finances career and stability this is a lot about um coming into our own identity you have the number 13 4 number one foundations you're closing out a lot of old cycles okay we even have the number nine nine sorry my camera just froze there for a second but yeah again nine is the number of conclusions um wrapping up old old cycles and with time to collaborate the first card of the spirit animal deck it's like now is the time to network connect with people like start um initiate right initiating and beginning everything you've been wanting to start sometimes working in a team um for example if you've been like wanting to work out more maybe it'll be easier if you have like a workout buddy just an example but even like collaborating when it comes to work it feels like um sometimes you there may be somewhere you want to go in your career taking a class it doesn't even have to be a full course but like a seminar or just a small little thing um which helps you connect to others it's going to help you make again the right connections create the right, right foundation for this new beginning it just feels like spirit really wants you right now to be fully embodied in your own because they're trying to bring you blessings when it comes to your career so in that sense it'll also feel balanced with your love life so let's move into what else we have coming for Ooh, this happiness card almost came out so i do see with the ten of cups you're feeling a lot of fulfillment feeling <laughs> gonna contradict myself okay we have great personal sorrow forces working against you unsettled times need to plan ahead career this is a big um 
spirit really wants you to focus and believe in your career believe in your hopes and wishes sometimes we distract ourselves because we don't believe we can fully um achieve whatever that thing it is we're watching a period of ill health depression if some of you guys are feeling afraid because of a love situation i'm seeing this person uh, again this is a general reading please book if you really are feeling a lot of uncertainty but what i'm seeing is this person does care about you a lot but it is important that you focus on your personal journey now you focus on creating being an active creator for yourself in your life because again you deserve to work towards these blessings that want to come into your life and more than that you deserve to feel good and not be afraid right when you're not afraid you're going to take action you're going to be very very trusting and those of you who have are wondering why the heck has my life been sh like shaked up like for what reason it was for healing it was for healing and even in april if things feel you know just so much change is happening at once um chaos it can feel chaotic chaotic doesn't mean bad chaotic just means whoa a lot going on it's to initiate your healing to throw you in situations so you can face them so if you tell yourself i can handle this the universe is like here you are and if you handle it you know gracefully boom uh, you're gonna get whatever blessing it is you were kind of wanting because you kind of trusted um you've been trusting your path this whole time you've been trusting you're gonna get where you need to get to this whole time okay it's very important i'm hearing um yeah you're you're deep in your spiritual journey you're not going to see it now but you're going to see over time these situations for what they were when you overcome them it's going to make sense why you were in them to prove to yourself that you can overcome it that you are way more than whatever the circumstances so yes pile two that was oh let's do one more card one more card for pile two pile one had this wow you guys who are watching um you're very very wise this isn't like your first rodeo you have definitely been through situations and overcome them and seen your own strength and seen um your own capabilities and this is just another time for you to prove that to yourself i find clarity through calm so the more the most important thing is to not change the outside change yourself and you will see the outside reflect that it's those who are calm and perseverant and confident through whatever who um realize they can get through it um and it'll be a breeze and i feel you have a lot of these capabilities and you are relying on those strengths and talents and kind of inherent wisdom you have in this situation this is just kind of a reminder really so that was your reading pile too um hope you enjoyed website will be down below to book personal readings oh, Take care. uh three welcome to your reading so this is a very interesting reading because what i'm seeing is there is some choice that you're trying to figure out how to make for some of you guys it's like there's more than one choice to make you're like i have to make a decision and when it comes to this aspect of my life and this aspect and you're like oh my god somebody <laughs> someone give me the answers please and i wish i could i wish i could be like do this but you have to listen to your internal compass you have to listen to what feels right close your eyes and which one feels right what choices feel right you know really uh go with those and i think there's a bit distrust in this these new beginnings you know a rebirth is assured in endings there's new beginnings right in these new beginnings that are that are forming because it means having to really let go and forgive forgive the past and you are really learning learning to do that oh okay so you will be shown the way there's something i don't know there's something almost peaceful about this pile 
and a lot of it's not even that you are at peace but something inherently within you desires peace or your very spiritual involvement with the law misunderstanding i i'm feeling for a lot of you there's some misunderstanding between you and someone and so you're like where do we go from here but i just feel both of you are unable to see one another's perspective and if you could that would really help clear the air these problems are very very temporary even the place you're at in your life temporary spirits like this is a, you are going to be going elsewhere a two-faced friend whoa there's a lot of cattiness in april what's going on um i am seeing a lot of you guys um there's situations in your life where you're like the peacemaker and it can become a bit exhausting always seeing the other person's perspective that's coming up and me kind of be evaluating the, the friends and family in your life who you deem as maybe trustworthy that could be coming up a sincere wish will be oh this is a lot of cards I do see certain things are developing positively which is going to lead to honor and respect <laughs> you guys have a lot going on you could be dealing with i'm seeing you desire comfort and peace in your own space and you want to create a beautiful home or a beautiful family like or just just good energy you want to be surrounded by good energy is what i'm seeing that's what you're trying to create and you're very busy and working towards creating that um the most difficult part of a situation is over that's so nice the worst is over new creative ideas and ventures a fresh start a lot of you are very with gaito and capricorn in the 10th house you desire a more unconventional career or you always bring kind of your unconventional maybe more open-mindedness to the work environment um and i think you don't really respect people who are all about hustle culture and willing to step on anyone's toes to get there that's not your vibe some of you could really benefit from working from home or doing something that's maybe your own personal calling versus trying to follow just a very specific practical path celebration fun enjoyment hidden secrets can harm you I just can feel like right now there's a lot going on with around you in terms of relationships and you kind of feeling like i don't fully understand everything when it comes to my relationships all types of different relationships um let's move into maybe love oracle because i did pull some for the first two piles wedding rings so a lot of you are in a relationship or i'm seeing you know what i'm seeing with the misunderstanding card is there's someone here who wants to who is genuine okay there is one person maybe this is a friend but a lot of you i'm getting this is in love again this is a general reading but it just feels like the walls between you are creating a misunderstanding and there's just distrust from pain okay one or both of you carrying pain which is making it maybe harder to forgive and move forward seeing really strong capricorn placements um and 10th house placements coming up you guys are currently feeling there's not enough like if you had the resources then you could trust your intuition and make these choices but spirit is asking you to have faith and do it now great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take yeah it just feels like there needs to be more like effort put in and then but that feels like i think a risk that feels like a really hard choice to make to put in that effort on in one or both sides i'm also hearing make the effort like just in everything you know um see yourself as abundant you know view yourself as abundant and watch you have to change yourself on the inside to see the outside reflected so see yourself as abundant and like watch how abundance comes to you that's a huge message just like spirit is saying there's always enough it's all about perception so that was your reading pile 
three if you would like to book a more accurate reading with me my website will be down below thank you for watching